What is going on people? Welcome back to the I Smoke channel. I'm Tyler Green and this is another cannabis inspired video bringing you an update, a vlog, letting you know what is going on in the UK at the moment and what I have experienced or found in the news over the past week. It has been a fantastically positive week for cannabis news in the UK this week. We have seen a complete shift in opinion of MPs, members of the public, anybody who has heard the stories of what is going on at the moment with people like Billy Caldwell, Alfie Dingley, and the many other uh, sick people that urgently need access to medical cannabis. It became apparent that by not acting, the Home Office was effectively signing their death sentence. Billy had medicine prescribed from a doctor that was seized upon them entering the UK, and he went into hospital with a cluster seizure. So it was very severe, life-threatening, and Sajid Javid had to intervene and issue an emergency license for Billy to get his medicine back. He's also issued an emergency license for Alfie Dingley to also get his medicine. Sajid has also issued a statement on the fact that the government intends to now look at medical cannabis in a different way. And if there are medical benefits, which we know there are, then they will reassess how they are treating cannabis as medicine. This is really, really positive, guys. We've not had this level of debate within Parliament in a serious manner for as long as I can remember. Every time people bring up things to do with cannabis legalisation, it has been met with uh, worries and concerns. And this week has been different. This week it has been met with wide acceptance by cross-party politicians who all think that cannabis should be legalised medicinally or cannabis oil should be legalised medicinally. So, so really positive. The news articles that have come out about it have all been positive. We've seen William Haig, the ex-conservative leader, actually coming out and saying that the war on drugs is lost and uh, cannabis should be legalised. That is the ex-conservative leader coming out and saying that publicly. We really have seen a shift in public opinion. Now, the battle is not won, all right? Just because we have the health minister as well, Jeremy Hunt saying cannabis should be looked at, Sajid Javid, the home secretary, saying that it needs to be looked at. We still have Theresa May as Prime Minister who is vehemently against cannabis legalisation in any form. There's some really groundbreaking stuff happening, but we're always like in a little bit of danger of it going quiet and people getting appeased and then things not happening like they need to happen. We need to keep up the urgency. Uh, we need to keep up the support. We need to keep engaging with it, talking about it, um, raising as much awareness as we can because the conversations people are having now are about how do we get people their cannabis oil, not should we be giving people cannabis oil. And that is so powerful, guys. This is such a, a beneficial thing that helps so many people once this perception is fully shifted, which is well begun by now. Once this is fully shifted, people will continue to be outraged because there are tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, up to a million people in the UK using cannabis medicinally to get some sort of relief or benefit or, or help from their symptoms. And those people all need urgent access to cannabis as well. So it doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop with, um, with Billy getting his life-saving medicine, with Alfie getting his life-saving medicine. It doesn't stop until every medical cannabis consumer has access to medicine that they need to make their lives better. I think that that is a very basic thing that really that really should be agreed by everyone. Medical cannabis is effective, it helps people, we know it helps people, now we need to give them access to it and, and not prohibit that access and criminalise those people for using it, right? So, so this week has been all about medical cannabis. Actually, the government has been careful to say that this is not the first step towards legalising recreational cannabis. They have no intentions of doing that. As a cannabis activist and campaigner that's been doing this for a long time, I'm under no illusions that we would win the fight overnight and just wake up one day with cannabis legalised. I don't think that that could happen. I think that it's a series of small concessions that they will have to make until there's no point keeping it illegal anymore. And this is such a big one of those concessions, right? To admit that it has medical efficacy and it helps people, they should have done a long time ago, but it's now been done. Regardless of whether that is a first step towards legalizing recreational cannabis, cannabis is a plant, it is the same plant 
however you're choosing to prepare the oil or in, ingest the raw form, you're using the same basic plant to do that with. So that plant shouldn't be illegal. That is the, that's just the plant that that medicine comes from. So, so regardless of whether their intention is to keep cannabis illegal recreationally, it will soften the, um, the outlook on cannabis possession, on cannabis uh, consumption, you know, inevitably, because it's a medicine. And we know it's a medicine and it's important that people have access to that. Those are my thoughts on it. Apologies for not being more vocal right early on in the week. I've actually been out of the office this week. I'm back now. We're here talking about it. Everything that's going on, I'm here to keep you updated. If you've got any comments, do leave them below in the uh, comments box. This is going to be a debate. This is going to be one that people have got different opinions on. My opinion has always been any step towards cannabis legalisation in the right direction will always get my support and I think that by allowing access to medical cannabis that is certainly a step in the right direction. But leave me your thoughts below, let me know what you think about this week's developing cannabis stories in the news in the UK. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to help the channel grow and you can also support me on Patreon if you would like to uh, do a monthly support then there'll be a link in the description. That's that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again soon. As always, keep talking. Stepping on your roller coaster, going down, but I never felt this high. Biggest ride of the century.